Hello and welcome to the Bike Century. My name's Ben and today I've got the pleasure of showing you around this absolutely stunning Italjet Dragster. This is the 125cc version. Uh, there is also a 200cc version and it is a scooter. Um, some of you may or may not remember the original uh, Dragster that first came out in 1998. It was a 180cc two-stroke. was an absolute phenomenon. Um, the engineering technology that you saw in it, people had not seen it in a, a bike, let alone a scooter at the time. Um, this is the latest Euro 5 version. Uh, I mean, where do we start with this bike? It's absolutely stunning. The engineering on this bike is amazing. Um, it's a real bit of kit, this. So I'm going to try and do it some justice uh, as we go around. We probably will follow this up with a more detailed version but this is really just to give you a bit of an orientation of the bike uh, and show you some of the really cool features that it comes with. So the Dragstar comes, like I say, in two versions. Uh, this is the 125cc version. If you want the 200, uh, we can get those in for you. The first thing you're gonna notice is a single-sided front wheel. Very, very unusual for any bike, let alone a scooter. Um, it has a steering arm on the left-hand side, a 13-inch front wheel, uh, with Pirelli tyres as standard, so really, really strong sort of front end, good grip. Uh, it's got a wavy disc and it comes with Brembo brakes and ABS as standard. Um, this is a very high spec scooter. This is not your sort of run of the mill, um, you know, scooter that you would buy for popping around in the city. This is a proper, well engineered job. I believe they even enlisted uh, Andrea Davizioso from uh, from MotoGP to help set this bike up. Um, LED lights at the front, these really cool louvres. It's available in three colours, by the way. Um, this obviously being red and white. Uh, we do stock the other colourways as well, so that's not a problem. As I pan up, you're going to see that we've got hand guards um, or brake lever and clutch lever guards fitted to the bike. And actually, the indicators are inset into those. That's a really nice touch. Um, we've got a domino style quick action throttle, um, braided lines are standard, uh, and good visibility from the mirrors. So up here it's a nice place to be one of the other features about this bike is that it's got iss front suspension that's got nothing to do with the international space station um although it could be considered the uh, le level of engineering here but we've got fully adjustable mono shocks front and rear what that does for the bike is it reduces the amount of dive that you get um, through the front forks when you're braking um, some of you may or may not be aware of the system that BMW uses. Um, think of it like that, it's a very, very similar system. The fuel cell is right in the middle of this frame. Um, as you can see, it's a nine litre tank. Um, and of course, being a scooter, particularly a 125cc scooter, I'd imagine you'd get very, very good mileage out of this bike. Towards the back, the second uh, mono shock there, again, fully adjustable. So you get preload, high and slow speed uh, compression dampening. Um, there is a, uh, an aftermarket exhaust, I believe Akropovic do an exhaust for this. Um, so if you're interested in uh, getting a little bit more power and a bit more sound, that might be something that uh, you'd look to put on. As I said, all really nicely engineered. So all the pillion pegs are incorporated into the design. Nothing's been considered an afterthought here. It's all been very well thought out and planned in advance. Around the back end, very Panigale-esque, I would say. Um, obviously the pillion grab rails, LED rear lights, um, all very well thought out. Down here, um, obviously you've got the tail section that has to, by law, be um, protruding behind the, uh, the rear wheel. Um, and again, on this side, you can just about see this really nicely machined uh, black and silver uh, rear wheel. And the paddock stand bobbins actually come with this bike as standard as well. The seat itself, I would say the pillion seat is probably not going to be the most ergonomic or comfortable for a pillion, um, but you have to appreciate the styling. It looks absolutely stunning. I've got this nice little uh, backrest for the rider, uh, all stitched with red to match the bike. It looks really, really cool. Let's come around this side. <coughs> so this is the hub style steering. Um, you've probably never seen this on a scooter before. I certainly hadn't before I'd seen this. Uh, just in there, you can see the Brembo caliper, the Brembo brakes. Uh, really, really strong uh, brakes on this bike. And because uh, you've got this ISS front end, um, you know, you can absolutely chuck this bike about like a sport bike. 
uh, it's really quite unbelievable how well balanced uh, this bike is. It feels a little bit strange when you're dry steering. Um, almost feels like the tire's a little bit flat, but as soon as you get going, uh, it absolutely transforms into something completely different. So, obviously the same as any other scooter. Um, obviously you've got a, a belt drive at the back end, a, a single cylinder, four stroke motor. Uh, that produces just over 12 brake horsepower. Um, it, it runs and rides like any other scooter. It does feel very refined, I have to say. Um, doesn't come with a side stand as standard, which is a bit odd to me. Um, just comes with a centre stand. There is a side stand option if you want to fit one. So up here as a rider, it's a very nice place to be. Um, you know, quality grips. All of the materials used on this are really, really nice quality, I have to say. There's a fully digital dash just up here. Um, just gives you the information you need. Uh, you know, you don't need a full color TFT on this type of bike. That's not what this is for. This is for a rider. Um, you know, someone who buys this is gonna know exactly what they're buying. I mean, look at it. It just looks absolutely mental. Um, we absolutely love this bike. Um, there's two other colorways available as well which look uh, equally cool um, they will be on our website as of this week so yeah this is the Italjet so we're now main dealers and stockists so we can do service and repairs uh, we can offer finance part exchange delivery you name it we can do it if you're interested or if you've got any questions uh, please feel free to reach out. We've got WhatsApp, live chat, all the socials. Pick up the phone and ask us any questions that you've got or feel free to drop into the showroom and you can try to bike on for size. That's it for me. Thanks for watching and I look forward to speaking to you soon. Take care.